New at 10 tonight, a pricey safety initiative that uses technology to detect gunfire, then dispatch police to the location could soon be scrapped by the city. Mayor John Whitmire says the multi-million dollar shot spotter program just is not worth the money. KPRC 2's Devin Clark is in Sunnyside tonight where the program has been put to use. I definitely think we need to keep that program. The city of Houston's $3.5 million taxpayer funded shot spotter program, which was initiated in 2021, will likely be ending before the end of its five year contract. Shot spotter uses technology to detect gunfire and automatically dispatches police to the location it came from. Mayor John Whitmire doesn't believe it's worth it. In a statement, he said, quote, I think it's a gimmick, a feel good program. Most law enforcement officers do not support shot spotter. I don't support it, end quote. Meanwhile, at a recent budget meeting, acting Houston Police Chief Larry Satterwhite says he has seen benefits from the program. And we've responded and we've found uh, individuals, I think the number is three, who were shot and injured and we were able to get them uh, some type of service because of that and help. Back in 2021, we reported on shot spotter detecting gunfire here at Dawson and Asheville. It resulted in three people being taken into custody and a shooting victim being transported to the hospital. A woman we spoke to who lives in the area but doesn't want to be identified says she's seen it work in another instance as well. It saved one life, definitely, because of that. The laws were brought to that house because of that. But Satterwhite says ShotSpotter, which costs the city $700,000 per year, isn't the only option. I am still yet to to tell you that it is doing everything that we want it to do. Uh, it is right. a very expensive program and it covers yep. a very small area and uh, yep. there are other technologies coming on board that are similar that are, might be more affordable. A spokesperson for Mayor Whitmire says that he wants to invest the money that would be saved into recruiting more police officers and right now he's looking into how to end the contract early that's up for renewal in December. Reporting in Sunnyside, Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News.